I'm on a roof here uh, in Westport facing the Long Island Sound. Well, I want to give you a tip or um, something people don't know much about is ultraviolet's uh, effect on roofing. So, I mean, bring it. Okay. So here we bring up a bucket of uh, stone. <laughs> And, um, ooh, okay, I had a catch it with my one hand. <laughs> and then I go over here. So, all right, no matter. Okay. So, why do we put stone on the roof? And that's what I wanted to talk to you about. The, you get three three roofing systems. One is the EPDM, another one TPO, and modified by tube and torch down. They're all single ply membranes, one thinner and thicker than the other, but they all have one thing in common. They need protection against ultraviolet. Ultraviolet is what breaks up the roof or any anything for that purpose. So in the old days, when you had the hot tar roofs, they had to put stone on the roof, like this. So this stone would protect the asphalt from deteriorating and breaking up, and it will last much longer, double the life, life of expectancy. EPDM and TPO does not have UV protection. Now, I believe you can get a paint to paint on EPDM, or on TPO, I'm not sure, but there are probably something that you can do to protect it, but very few people will ever do that. On a torch down roof, which is what I'm a specialist in, you get the membrane that is not, that is plain. There is no granules, there's no protection, and most roofing contractors that install uh, a torch down like this, will do it without any protection. That means it's easier to install, it's faster, and, and it looks cleaner. Well, that leaves the owner up to then apply a protection. That's normally that silver coating or aluminum asphalt coating that you have to apply over the torch down roof to protect it from ultraviolet. So, if you don't do it, you will get this effect. <clears throat> you see the spider cracks there? This is spider cracks from over 10 years of the ultraviolet. Um, you can see it there, see? Spider crack. Ultraviolet breaking up the roof. Now, if you, if you are a good roofer, <laughs> well, I don't know if I can say that, but the proper way to do it is to install a torch down with the granular surface. You see this? This has got that ceramic embedded onto this uh, plain material, and the ceramic will protect it against ultraviolet. But in this case, the owner wanted to put back the stone for aesthetic value, the aesthetic reason. It looks like that's what he had before, now he wants it back. So I installed a plain torch down, and now I'm adding the stone on top of it. Now, this roof, even if I didn't put the stone, will last 40, 50 years. But because it's a double torch down membrane, but that stone will protect the membrane and it's an indefinite lasting. Now, if you can protect uh, uh, EPDM and TPO, it, you'll get double the lifespan of a roof. So, what is the stone for? It's for ultraviolet protection against uh, against ultraviolet that's what it protects the stone and if you don't have it you have to paint it but i just wanted to, to show you something like that anyway i'm the flat roof doctor i know a thing or two because i've seen a thing or two blah 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 all right senor uh, no texting when you drive okay no texting you drive this thing? No texting. <laughs> huh?
Where are you? No texting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I need the rake. I need rules. What happened? I need the rake. The rake. Oh, this one here? Oh. No. Oh. I lost the wind sock. Oh. How did I lose it? Oh, there it is. Ooh. Full of water now. Yeah. Okay. Lost my wind sock. Lost my mic. I don't like this too. All right. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> 